Hey everybody, Dennis Gebhardt here with Guru Village. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Brain Smoke. Uh, you know what makes my brain smoke today? Um, a bunch of false knowledge that happens in our industry. Really, I'm worried for the young hairdresser today, those of you that are new to our industry, uh, it's no wonder that you're confused. I mean, even if we go to basics, like the color wheel, let's talk about the color wheel. You know, the one color wheel that you're all accustomed to or you're familiar with is the one you see here, which is a one-dimensional color wheel in a circle. But the reality is that's not the way the color wheel works. Actually, this is the way the color wheel works. The color wheel is a three-dimensional object. And there's three words when you were learning the color wheel that you probably should have been introduced to. First of all, the word is hue. H-U-E. Hue is the name of the color. And it is a horizontal measurement around the color wheel, meaning that uh, it is a complete circle. So there are 360 degrees in a circle. Therefore, there are 360 different hues that can be created on the color wheel. Actually, the color wheel should be called a sphere, not a wheel. Then, you have a measurement that's in the center that's a vertical measurement. That vertical measurement is called value. Value is the measurement of dark to light. We break that down into what we call level systems, which really is a measurement specifically at each level of light reflection and light absorption. But there's also what we call visual values. And there are five. Darkest, dark, medium light, and very light. Quite simple, yes? And visual values is what gives us the foundation for the level systems that we choose to use today in professional hair color. So we have to understand that if I take those 360 different hues and I measure them levels one through 10 on depth, based on depth, I mean, I can have a medium blue, a dark blue, a light blue. I now have the possibility of creating over 3,600 different color tones based upon vertical measurement, value, and horizontal measurement, hue. And how many did we learn? We learned nine. That's what we learned, nine. We learned blue, red, yellow, violet, green, orange. <coughs> Those are all we learned. And then the intermediaries, blue, violet, red, violet, and so on and so forth. Only nine shades. And I've just given you 3,600. Now, if you go from the center of the wheel out to the outside of the ring, there's another word you should have been taught, which is called chroma, C-H-R-O-M-A. Chroma is the measurement of purity in a color, meaning that the closer to the outside ring we are, the more pure tone the color is. The closer to the inside ring, the more flat, muted, drab, or muddy the color result will be. There are 18 chromatic rings. Therefore, if you take those 3,600 I just gave you, different colors and value, hues and values, and you add in the radial measurement from the center of the wheel out, you find that there's about 64,800 different colors that can be created. And we learned how many? <laughs> we learned nine. Can you see why we're confused? Now you complicate that when you start going to color classes and people start talking about primary, secondaries, and tertiaries, or intermediate, however you learn the color wheel. And <clears throat> they say to you that, um, you know, these are the colors on the wheel, and if you go straight across, that's called a complementary color. Colors that are opposite on the wheel are complementary. What does that mean? That means that when I set those two colors side by side, they're, they, they enhance each other. But the, what they don't talk about sometimes is the harmonic colors, and those are colors that set together side by side on the side of each wheel. Harmonic colors are really wonderful because I can add a harmonic color to my color so I can soften it, but I don't give up the true tone of the color. If I add a complementary color, what I'm trying to do or what I'm doing is I'm bringing that color closer to the center of the color wheel and I may start to lose reflection in my color result. So those are two things that they should have probably talked to us about, but most of them didn't. 
So complementary colors are what we all learn, most of all. Then they start talking about what makes up the center of the color wheel. And this is what I find very interesting because many manufacturers still today teach that the center of the color wheel is brown. And it is not because brown, the color brown, is actually an uneven ratio of blue, red, and yellow. It's actually one part blue, two parts red, three parts yellow. Brown actually belongs in the upper right-hand corner of the color wheel. The center of the color wheel is actually gray. And if you think back to any color classes you've ever taken where you mix one part of blue, one part of red, one part of yellow, you never made brown. You made some sort of a little gray-brownish mess there in the center. And why is that important for us to understand? It's because we are taught in this industry to use complementary colors to refine the colors that are opposite of them. We don't always have to do that because sometimes you can use the center of the wheel color, which is gray, one part blue, one part red, one part yellow, and you can refine the color without giving up reflect. Remember, color does one of two things. It either reflects light, which makes it a bright color, a shiny color, or it absorbs light, which makes it a dark color or a flat or matted color. So understanding the color wheel, understanding how to formulate is huge in this industry. The color wheel is a map for us as salon professionals to help us predict success in our color results. So you need to embrace the color wheel. We need to tell the truth about the color wheel and help salon professionals learn to master this craft. As we say at Guru Village, learn it, live it, own it. And when you do that, you will master your craft and it will be a wonderful journey for you. If you want to know more, come visit us at our website, www.gurivillage.net, or attend one of our online classes or our live classes. I would love to see you there. I promise you we can share with you ways to predict successful color results consistently in the salon. So until I see you again, from my heart to yours, I'm Captain Color. I'm out.